hello what's up everyone welcome back to another video on my channel guys so this pandemic situation has created many people to uh, work from home and also these online classes so many people are switching from this mobile data to the wi-fi routers at home uh, first reason is the better internet speeds better capacity and also with a small monthly payment your entire family can use the wi-fi from your home which means uh, the mobile data has more problems with indoor coverage the wi-fi routers doesn't have the problem you can use it whenever you like and also uh, the main disadvantage of using a wi-fi router is you won't get internet at the time of power cut because wi-fi router itself doesn't come with a battery backup i'm not saying that every wi-fi router doesn't come with a battery backup there are some routers that comes with the battery backup but normal routers doesn't have the battery backup so you won't be able to use internet one at the time of a power cut and this can cause many problems so there is a solution for that that is this product from here it is a 12 volt ups for your routers and it gives up to six hours of battery backup for your router even in the power cut time and also today we'll be talking about this product so without any more ado so guys this is the box that contains the cruiser 12 volt ups uh, even though box is not very bulky um, still this is powerful enough to power your ups for six hours when there is a power card and this is kind of an interesting product actually let's unbox this thing and before unboxing that uh, let me tell you what are the things that is provided in the box itself so as you can see the cruiser brand right here this is a cruiser 12 volt ups for your rotor and you can see the preview image and on the side is written that uh, it's 12 volt and it is capable up to 2 ampere it doesn't mean you only can use uh, 2 ampere rotors actually you can use uh, the rotors with 0.5 ampere or 1.5 ampere 1 ampere or 2 ampere it means it can use up to 2 amperes uh, in, in this thing which means it is powerful enough to handle up to 2 ampere routers and you can see uh, it is a 90 watt hour charger capacity and battery backup up to two, 3 to 5 hours but I was getting about 6 hours of battery backup and also the main problem with these things are there is the switch uh, speed between the uh, battery and the main supply uh, that is what we don't use routers with the UPS that comes with the computer right uh, because there is a latency in switching between the battery and the main supply uh, that causes the, the wi-fi rotors to turn off because you they can't even take a small so uh, here it is given that uh, you are getting zero lag switching option which means 0 0.00 seconds to switch between battery and the mains and also uh, it is given with an overcharge protection and also deep dis discharge protection and also uh, the thermal protection also and also long battery life and compact size multiple function leds and also other side it is even about the uh, options and on the back side you can see here how to use and here it is written it you can see the sketch for this plug-in and input and output and all those things and also here certain uh, designed by manufactured and all those things so guys now let's unbox this product and you can see uh, you can just plug the seal out and you can just take this thing out and like that there's nothing much inside the box you can see the product right here uh, which is the <coughs> ups for the wi-fi router i can see itself it's very compact and you can see it's not very bulky actually and also not very pretty much very heavy uh, so let's keep this apart and let's look what are the things given in this thing and you are given a bridge cable for connecting your ups to your rotor that is what it is used for and also there are given some extra um, female to male pin for that you can connect to any kind of pins on your routers you can see uh, you can use this to connect from any kind of pins to your router so we are not going to be using this because i am having this same exact port on my router so i'll be using the standard one let's keep this back in and also you are getting one more thing is 
an instruction manual plus warranty card which we are not going to be looking at all and also one more thing is this thing comes with a 12 months of warranty which means you can claim 12 of months of warranty in this product also uh, one thing you have to do is you just need to scan this QR code when you get the product for claiming the warranty so that's also an important thing to note let's keep the box aside and let's look at the UPS itself and it is given a small cover and you can see this is a, a UPS for the router and you can see here the branding is given as cruiser and also one on and on of switch uh, which comes with an LED indicator you can see that and it is also a multifunctional LED light and here you are give, given an out uh, out port for connecting you this battery backup thingy to your router and also there is the in port which you connect directly to the power supply now let's connect this thing to our router and you can see this is my primary router and if I turn the signal uh, turn this thing off the Wi-Fi router goes back just like that so now we are going to be connecting this thing and let's check this this is a primary router I use uh, in my everyday life and you can see here uh, this kind of a normal type of router and if I remove the power input uh, the router goes back because there is no kind of battery backup built into this router and just say plug it in back so it will be turning on again so now we'll be connecting this UPS to the router it's very simple to connect first thing is to remove your power input from the router just like this and now you used to plug this input cable to your the UPS input cable just see here just connect this thing into here and as soon as you connect it you will see a grill light indicating here which means this thing is charging so now what we have to do is uh, to take the bridge cable which is given with the UPS and connect one end of the bridge cable to the uh, UPS output like this and now it's very simple to connect this other end of this uh, output cable to your router just like that and now basically everything is connected up and you can see now also there is no power coming in it's because you just need to turn this switch on and now you can see the power is coming into the router also if you want to turn it off you can just turn it off from here it's just acts like a switch and also uh, you can see you never know I'm going to be removing the input from the main power supply and now you can see that yeah there is no power card in your router uh, it's kind of there is no lag actually it's kind of 0, 0.00 seconds of lag uh, from switching it from the main power supply to your this thing also automatic charges and when it is a uh, power is present uh, you are using the power directly from the power input from your main power supply and when the electricity goes off it switches to the battery here and it runs on the battery for about six hours and currently this router is 0.5 amperes router i think so and um, so i'm using this thing so you can use this route this ups with a router up to two ampere so it will be fine on 12 volt and now i'm going to be plugging back in and also this led indicator is a multi-purpose when there is no power no power supply now that the indicator is going to be showing like a red and when there is power supply and it is turned on it will be showing an kind of orange color led and when this UPS is turned off it will be showing green that's how it is going to be working now i'm not kind of uh, wanted to lie this around in my table so i am sticking with a double side tape it's very light so you can kind of stick it with the wall itself i'm using a double side tape in here you can use it and uh, you can place it anywhere you want i'm just using this thing and now i'm going to be for sticking it to the wall right here and just like that
and now you guys see that this thing is uh, safely placed in a comfortable position now everything is set up and you can see it works perfectly fine also I haven't feel any kind of uh, heating issue with this thing you can actually feel nothing uh, about this thing it's not heavy and there is no heat producing in this thing and also you are having one uh, year of warranty so that if or even if your rotor has some complaint you can return it and get a replacement for that that's also cool right so that's pretty much all about this bad boy so guys that's pretty much all in today's video if you like this video a thumbs up to the channel will be interesting also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can go down below and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so that you can view my videos for the first when I upload it. And also if you want to share this video with your friends, you can share this video with your friends. It will be truly gonna help them also. So that's much much all in today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, peace out.